a shopper here is a little overwhelmed and I'm overwhelmed by how many cheeses we have here with Allison Spurl who apparently does not like to be known as a cheese whiz. She uh, knows her cheese. So Allison Spurl is going to talk to us about artisanal or farmstead cheese and what makes a great cheese. The average person goes in and they get cheddar cheese, medium cheddar cheese, I guess, that's the top seller. But as we can see in your amazing store here, there are hundreds, probably thousands of cheeses. Yeah. You're a cheese judge. Tell me what makes a great cheese. Well, I think um, at the Grand Prix, I had the opportunity to try like over 200 Canadian cheeses all made from cow's milk last time I judged. And really what makes a great cheese is interesting balance, uh, good flavors. I think cheesemakers in Canada are really striving for interesting products and um, working really hard to bring the public something new and a little different than medium cheddar. Well, what do you see? What do you appreciate in a great cheese? I guess I think, <clears throat> although there's nothing wrong with adding things to cheese, sometimes that can be an interesting introduction for people who aren't used to, you know, all sorts of the wide diversity of cheese. That's a neat introduction. I think that's probably not my favorite category. I guess I look for a little more aging in a cheese where the cheesemakers really take in some care and time, which does cost money because they need to store the cheese and um, care for it in all their aging steps. But um, I think when you have the, a more aged cheese, you have more interesting flavors. So shall we both take a bite of it Definitely and you can explain <laughs> why sure. this is special? I can sure. tell you what it, it yeah. tastes like to me, but okay. you can tell me why it wins awards. Very nice, very smooth, mm -hmm. lot of flavor. Mm -hmm. So like you were saying, you don't need to eat a lot and it sticks no. with you. So there's, um, just sort of taste, there's almost some kind of fruity flavors. Um, I would describe this cheese as kind of like a mountain style cheese, so it's a little bit nutty. Um, the pat, which is the inside of the cheese, it's called the pat. It's very smooth and really dense. Ian Austin for the province.com signing off. May the cheese be with you.